today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can raise your first 1 million Robux and please donate. I will be going step by step with what you guys need to do. Now let's get started. To get started, we're going to want to go over the basics. The first thing I'll go over is setting up your booth the correct way. So what you're going to want to do is join please donate and then claim a stand. Once you do that, you're going to see that you have game passes or no game passes. If you don't know how to make them, then go ahead and search up a tutorial. But what you want to have are game passes ranging from low prices to high prices. My lowest game pass is 5 Robux and my highest is 10 million Robux. I'll put all the prices of my game pass in the description so that you guys can copy them. Now that you have your game passes set up, you want to have text on your sign that makes people want to donate. To do this, you need to have a reason why people should donate to you. All you have to do is just put that reason on your booth without writing an entire paragraph. Once you have your reason on your booth, you want to make your text pop. So to start, what you want to do is go on to edit booth. Then you'll have the option to change the font, stroke size, stroke color, and the text color. Now you just want to play around these features until your text looks really good. Also, I forgot to mention, but you want to have a goal on your sign as well. And you need to make sure that it's not too far from what you have raised so that people will actually want to get you there. Now that you complete the first two steps on your booth, you only have to complete these last two easy steps and then you'll have the perfect booth. Since you just got your game passes and your text set up, you now need a good looking booth to put those on. You can get boosts by raising and donating Robux, or you can get some free ones through codes or playing partner games. I'll have a link in the description that shows you how to get every free booth and please donate. Now that you have lots of game passes, amazing text, and a good looking booth, all you need is good booth placement. This is probably the easiest step of the four, and it's also the most efficient one. You want to place your booth where the most traffic is on the server. Typically, this is the booth closest to the leaderboards, but if the traffic is somewhere else, then just center it around that area. Whenever you place your booth down, you want it to be on one of the in booths because they stand out more than the other ones. If you can't get an in booth where the most traffic is going on, then try to get one closest to that in booth. With that being said, you should know everything you need to know about setting up your booth. And now it's time to move on to how you're supposed to get donations. I'll show you multiple strategies on how you can make Robux, but you need to make sure that you're executing them correctly. Before I say anything else, I'm just going to say that you should never go up to anyone and just blatantly start begging them. As someone who sees lots of people like this, I would never want to donate to any of them. Now that you know what you're not supposed to do, here's what you should do. If you're just starting the game or have less than a few thousand Robux raised, then you need to do this strategy. It's probably the fastest one you can do when you're starting off and please donate. Now this wonderful strategy is asking people for Robux. You can do this by just walking up to someone and politely asking them if they want to check out your booth or drop a donation. Usually when you ask someone to check out your booth, they end up donating anyway. But I'll show you guys an example so you have the right idea. So all I did was walk up to this rather strange looking individual and then I asked them for a donation. They gave a weird answer but they still ended up donating. It only took me about 5 minutes to get a donation so this is definitely one of the best strategies. Even though the strategy is really good, it most likely won't get you to a million robux raised. If you want to raise a million robux, then you have to make friends and connections with other people that play the game. This is pretty straightforward but I go off of this for who you should be friends with. You want to be friends with someone who plays the game a lot and with someone who you can make a connection with. Usually, if you build up a friend group, all of you will start making more Robux as a whole, and you can make well over a million Robux. Most of the people on the leaderboard have their own friend group of people who play the game with them. This is the best strategy for making Robux, but you have to be really dedicated to the game so that you can succeed with it. While this is the best strategy, the strategy that I used to get 1 million Robux raised was streaming. I will warn you that you need to do the asking for Robux strategy first because you need some Robux. Basically, all you're going to do is get to around 2,000 Robux raised, then you can start with this one. Once you get your 2,000 Robux, you want to make donating streams, which can make you tons of Robux. But you also want to make sure you're not spending too much Robux on these streams. You only need to spend a few hundred Robux max on each stream. Now that you know what to do on your streams, you need to know how to actually set them up. Huh? The ones that I use are Streamlabs if you have a good PC, OBS if your PC is not quite as good, or Amla Arcade if you're on a mobile device. If 
you don't know how to operate your streaming platform, then you can search through the many tutorials that are on YouTube. Now to get people actually watch your streams, you can just get ideas from other popular streamers. This is all you need to do for streaming, but if you want to make a million Robux from it, you have to put a lot of research into it as well. Now that we're finished going over the three main strategies, let's go over the bonus ones that are just as good, if not better, than the three main ones. So the first bonus strategy that I'm going to go over is having voice chat. Having voice chat can help you out and please donate more than anything. This is because people like hearing people's reactions getting donations. In my last video, which you should watch, I made 500 more Robux in a voice chat server than a normal server. Also, I did that on an alt account and in an hour. With that being said, you just have to be yourself when you're playing in voice chat servers. And the best way to make Robux is by not looking for Robux, but by just having fun. Now for this next bonus strategy, you'll need to change up your booth. That is because this bonus strategy is setting up a theme. Setting up a theme is a fun way that you can get people to donate to. I've used themes for a while and I can say that it definitely helps. Some popular themes are selling food or just anything that you think people would like to buy. The theme that I'm using, which I stole from Deceivings, is selling all my buttons for people to have their own spot on my booth. Even though I said this is a strategy, this is more of an add-on because you should be using one of the three main strategies while you're doing this. To sum it all up, to make a million Robux, you should follow the three main strategies and maybe even implement a bonus strategy into Please Donate. I'll leave my resources in the description, and if you guys want to see some of these strategies being tested, then check out this video. Anyway, I'm out. See ya.